This is my Black & Decker 20 volt chainsaw. I'll kind of tell you why I bought it and why I love it. And then I'll give you some, uh, some stats on it, the numbers, if that you're in, interested in that. And at the end, we'll turn it on just so you can kind of hear the sound. But I am in my shop. So why would you get this over a gas chainsaw? So a gas chainsaw is always going to have more torque, um, but you're going to have way less problems with this. So it's electric. No tools to adjust. Simple instructions on it. When you run out of power, all you do is swap the battery. Now, yes, you have to have other batteries or a bigger battery. I would suggest getting a bigger battery. I have seven of those, so it kind of it works. And I, so I helped a friend get a tree off their house uh, right after a hurricane. Everybody seemed to be having problems with all their tools, but yet I never had an issue with this, and I cut more of that tree off the house than people with their gas chainsaws. Now, you have a big trunk to go through. It's only a 10-inch blade, so it's going to be a little harder to kind of get through that. That's understandable, but it, this does a great job kind of chopping, and in a neighborhood, you're not going to hear that chainsaw screaming and running, so the noise comparison is way less. Um... I love this chainsaw. I use this a lot. I help my dad clear out his lot with this chainsaw. Um, he has the Dwalt of the Black & Decker, and they perform pretty close to the same. Um, as far as stats, I mean, you see it on this my measurement mat. It's it's a little over 26 inches, and it's a sorry, a little under 26, a little over 8 inches. Um, it's six six it's about seven pounds depending on which battery you use this one comes with the guard and charging cable and the battery um, i would get an extra one or a bigger amp hour is my suggestion just because you are going to run this down it's great for pruning this size battery but you're going to need a little bit bigger one um, this is a, a guard it's locked in it's not a safety here's your safety on the thumb you have to pull this or you won't pull the trigger has a built-in um, oil reservoir that self-oils the chain. Here's your instructions on how to tighten up the chain. It's super simple. Um, if you need to take it off, you just pop this off. slides out. You can swap the chain. You can do it really, really fast. All right, uh, this is going to be the loud portion of the video, so I'm going to turn it on and uh, let you hear the sound. Again, we're in my shop. This might be a little louder than normal. So that's going to be it for my Black & Decker 20-volt chainsaw. Hope this view has helped. Have a great day.